Are you cruising on the carnival breeze anytime soon? Well, stop! Before you get on that ship, I want to tell you the 22 things that you need to know before boarding the carnival breeze. Welcome back to today's show. I am so glad to see you here again with me today. This video is all about traveling on the Carnival Breeze. Now, when it comes to cruising, we enjoy cruising on all the vessels that are out there. Well, I haven't tried all the vessels that are out there yet, but give me a chance. Carnival is one of our favorite cruise lines to try. As a matter of fact, it was our first cruise line that we ever tried way back in 2001. As a matter of fact, September 11th of 2001, remember what happened then? I was on my very first cruise with Carnival, but that's another video for another day. This video is all about the Carnival Breeze, and I really believe that there are some things you definitely need to know before you board that ship. And things have definitely changed with cruising since the pandemic. So I'm here to give you the things that you need to know before boarding the Carnival Breeze. Of course, according to us. Let's get started. Well, the Carnival Breeze was built back in 2011. She is a dream class ship and holds 3,690 guests and 1,386 crew. You're all booked on the Carnival Breeze and you're trying to figure out what time do I arrive? Where do I go? What do I do? One of the things that you really need to do is download the Carnival Hub app. That's available for Android as well as iPhone. Download that Carnival Hub app and all of your questions, or at least the majority of them, can be answered from the information that's located on your Carnival Hub app. Now, before your cruise, usually I think it's two weeks or 10 days before your cruise, you will be able to do what's called check-in for your cruise. And at this time, um, you can go online and check in for your cruise. You can print your boarding passes, print out your embarkation information, and this will give you the time that you are able to arrive to board your ship. Now here's something that you definitely need to know. Coming before you've given that all clear to arrive is not going to help you get on board that ship any earlier at all. It's probably going to slow you down. You're going to sit there and wait. So if you're wanting to be one of the first ones on board ship, the day that you are able to check in and remember you're going to download the Carnival Hub app, Take a look at the day that says check-in is available. Be one of the first on that day. Set your clock. Make it a marathon. If you can do it, let's say February 11th, February 10th at midnight, it's on. Go online, check in, and that'll give you the time frame that you can board the ship. I think the time frame start at about 10.30 a.m. Now, you might think about this or you might not. Either way, I needed to give you the warning straight off the bat. Watch your step. Something that you might not think about, but all over that ship, there are uneven surfaces, there are lifts, there are rises, there are just places where, where you could fall or you could trip. There's areas by pools and hot tubs that are wet and quite slippery. So watch your step, take your time. And if you have imbibed in a few beverages, your guard might be let down. Take your time and watch your step. There are a couple of areas that are especially tricky. In your cabin, when you go into your bathroom area, there's usually a sign that actually says, watch your step. There's a significant lift going into that bathroom. If you have a balcony cabin or a suite cabin where there's a door outside to the balcony, there's going to be some difference between the room and going outside on your balcony. Watch your step. Going in and out of some of the venues that are on board, such as the lounges in the areas where you see the Broadway shows, not only are there risers or lifters, but the stairs can be quite tricky. Watch your step. Once you get on board the ship, unless you've paid for the internet package, you do not have internet, meaning you're going to be out of communications with people back on shore. Don't worry if that's something that bothers you or if that's something that you need access, there are different internet package plans that you can purchase on board the ship. They have the social package, they have the value package, and they have the premium package. Now at the time of recording of this video, on board the Carnival Breeze, the social package is $12.75 per day, 
The value package is $17 per day and the premium package is $18.70 per day. And I'll go ahead and put this up here, what you can expect out of each one of those packages. Now, of course, if you want to get a little bit more in depth on that, go to carnival.com and then you can take a look at exactly what is offered in those internet packages. Once you board the ship, you're going to want to turn your phone to airplane mode quickly. You don't want to get slammed with any roaming charges over the deep blue sea. Turn your phone, to airplane mode. You will still be able to communicate through that Carnival Hub app doing certain things aboard the Carnival ship. So you have finally arrived on your ship. You're so excited. Your vacation is about to begin. The first thing that you really need to do is go to your muster station. What am I talking about? There is a safety briefing that every passenger must attend on board cruise lines. So what they do, they assign you a certain muster station and this little part on your card will tell you where you need to go. And this is where you have to go to receive that safety information. Before the pandemic, this used to be quite a painstaking process. The entirety of the ship would have to gather together and squeeze into some area, depending on you know where your muster was, but usually outside or around a deck area of the ship and you had to squeeze in tight and you had to stand there and it was quite uncomfortable and it just was not a fun process. It was not nice at all. So after the pandemic, the majority changed to an online muster situation where you could watch the safety video and then put some clicks on there that yes, I've seen it, and then possibly walk to where your muster station was located and let the staff know you knew where that muster station was and let them know you also knew where to locate your life jackets in case of the need. Some cruise lines have changed, but Carnival is still doing the e-muster. So you are able to go quickly and assemble wherever your muster station is, get a quick briefing, check it off and you are done. It probably takes 10 minutes or less, but if you don't do it right away, you hold up everything. The ships, they're not really allowed to take off and, and go until they know that everyone has been to their muster stations and they have received that information. It's really a safety briefing. It's for our, our benefit. And yes, you're in vacation mode and probably one of the last things you wanna do is stop and do muster, but get it out of the way first, please. And then it's done. You can wipe your hands of it and go about your merry way. So one of the first things, remember, that we're going to do when we get on our Carnival Breeze, we're going to go to our muster station, get it done. One of the most common questions that were asked is, what do you get for the price of your cruise? And let me break it down, because there is a lot that you get for the price of your cruise. Of course, you get your room and board. You are on a floating resort that you never have to leave or pack up to go to all of these new destinations. So your room, whichever style of cabin that you choose, and your board. Now, what do I mean by board? Because that can be a little tricky. Food is included on your cruise, but not all of it. And there's also drinks that are included free. But once again, not all drinks. Free drinks are water and usually iced tea and lemonade and coffee. Some juices are included free, some. Aboard the Breeze, you have two main dining rooms, the Blush and the Sapphire. The food in our main dining rooms is where you go to have the majority of your big meals. And for the most part, the food in the main dining room is free. Now there are things that are upcharged and it'll say that every night when you go in there and you look at the menus, it'll let you know if there's something that is not included. But for the most part, all of the food in your main dining room that you can have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is included. Also included is Guy's Burger Joint. You can find some of the most tastiest burgers at sea right here. You have the Blue Iguana Cantina. This is where you can get some Mexican favorites and especially those Mexican burritos and taco bowls. This also is included absolutely free. Not only do you have Guy's Burgers, but you have Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue. This is not always open. It's usually open on uh, sea days at just particular times, but some really good barbecue and all the barbecue fixings that is included in your fare. The Lidl Marketplace, once again, that is your large buffet. 
food day and night, all different types of food, including desserts, main courses, uh, vegetables, vegetarian, all included in your cruise fare. We have Swirls ice cream. You can see those located all around the ship and especially in the Lido area that you can get your favorite soft serve ice cream. It's included in your fare as well as Pizza Pirate. Delicious pizzas available and included in your cruise. Now what's not included? There are specialty restaurants on board the Carnival Breeze that it's an upcharge. And take a look at that Carnival Hub app and it'll give you the price for these specialty restaurants. Some of these specialty restaurants include Cucina del Capitano. This is the upcharge Italian restaurant. Then there is the steakhouse restaurant, Fahrenheit 555, also not included in your cruise fare. There is a seafood shack and it's just what you would expect it to be. A great selection of wonderful and premium seafood not included in the cruise fare. We have a sushi restaurant called Bonsai Sushi, which is also not included. And there is 24 hour room service, but not all of that is included. Take a look on your Carnival Hub app to see what things are actually included in that room service. All of it is not free. So we talked a little bit about the food and drink that is available, of course your room and board, but there's all types of wonderful entertainment that's included with your fare. They have wonderful Broadway style shows that happen on board the ship at least two to three times, maybe even four times or five times, depending on the length of your cruise, completely free. They have game shows, deal or no deal, family feud, love and marriage, absolutely free. There's trivia on board all the time that is completely complimentary. And there are things like the welcome aboard show, there is the sail away party, sometimes there's theme parties like the white hot night parties, you have comedians that come on board, absolutely free. You have the live music all over the ship that you can see, absolutely free. There is a piano bar that you can come and have a wonderful drink and listen to some piano classics, absolutely free. The music, not the drinks. And here's something else that you need to know that's included free on board your ship. If you are traveling with children, Carnival has some wonderful youth programs that are included free. Now there is charge to a few of those and I'll get to that shortly. So on board the Carnival Breeze, they have the kids program. Camp Ocean is set up for children and it's broken down into three different uh, age groups. The penguins are children two to five years old. Stingrays are for children six to eight. And then the sharks are from children nine to 11 years old. This is free daycare. And I don't wanna call it daycare, but free kids programming. They have all kinds of arts and activities, games, music that they do. The kids usually have a wonderful time here, broken down into different age groups. Now this is not all day and all night. After 10 p.m. it, it costs and there are certain times that you can drop off your kids. Once again, I'm going to tell you to check that Carnival Hub app because the times change. Um, then there's also Club O2. This is for the teens, 15 years old and older. And then we have Circle C, which are for the children 12 to 14 years old. And there's also what's called a Night Owl program. You can take your children there from uh, 9 p.m. all the way up until 1 a.m. And that's not free. There is a nominal charge for that one. Once again, check your Carnival Hub app to find out what the fees are and the time frames for the kids programming. All right, I'm gonna run through this really quick because there are a host of onboard activities that are included in the breeze, absolutely free. And here we go. We have the Serenity Adults Only Retreat Area. On board the breeze, they have dive-in movies. Here poolside, you can watch these gigantic television screens and they play some of the latest, hottest new release movies right here for you to enjoy completely free. Sometimes there's also sporting events that you can watch right by the poolside included in your fare. We have waterworks. We have the sports square, mini golf, basketball, a ropes course, a jogging track. You have pool tables, foosball tables, volleyball available, ping pong. There's also a jogging track, library on board the Carnival Breeze, a fitness center, mini golf, and a nightclub. And of course, there are plenty shopping options on board the ship. They're not gonna leave you out. You can buy anything from t-shirts to mugs, to hats, to fine jewelry, to art on board the Carnival Breeze. 
I want to talk about one of the things that's not included on the Carnival Breeze that could cost you a very substantial penny. What am I talking about? The drink package. Here on the Breeze, there is an option to purchase what's called a beverage package. And let's start with the Cheers package. This is a package that you can purchase to get alcoholic beverages and some specialty coffees for a standard set price instead of paying for them each individually. The price according to the time, the price of the time that I recorded this video was $59.95 per person per day for the Cheers package if you purchase it prior to boarding the Carnival Breeze. $59.95 per day. If you wait till you board the ship, the price is $64.95 per person per day. This does not, I hear, give you every drink that's available. It gives you a majority of the premium drinks. I don't purchase this package, so I don't know completely about it. Check it out in the Carnival app, but this gives you alcoholic beverages and premium drinks and specialty coffees that you can purchase um, up to, I think it's 15 drinks per day. Now, if you purchase this package, every adult who is in your stateroom must purchase it. I'll have to say that again. So however many adults, 21 years old and older in the stateroom have to all purchase this drink package. It, it's just set up that way. So it can't just be two out of the three of you. Every adult would have to purchase the package in that stateroom. Now, if you want to get what's called the bottomless bubbles, this is a drink package that's not the alcoholic beverages. This is the non-alcoholic beverages, the smoothies, the other uh, additional specialty coffees, things of that nature. This uh, is all of your soft drinks. This package is $6.95 per child per day or $9.50 per adult per day um, if you'd like to purchase the bottomless bubbles. Now, additionally to the Cheers package, uh, the price that was quoted, there's also an 18% gratuity add it to each beverage that you purchase. So a lot of people say that this saves them lots of money if they plan to drink, you know, 14 or 15 drinks per day. Um, it's, it's a large expense. It's a large expense. If you're spending $60 per adult per day, and let's say you're going on a seven day cruise, well, you're spending $420 just on the drink package itself, not including that 18% gratuity, but I'm hearing that if you do like to drink and like to taste those drinks and, and get a hold of the specialty drinks, this could actually save you money. So please be aware that alcoholic beverages are not included in the price of your package and it is um, a substantial fee to add that, but you can add it and save if you purchase it before arriving on board the cruise ship. Another question that we get asked pretty often is, what if I run out of money? Is there a way to access an ATM machine while you're on board? And the answer is absolutely yes. But please be aware that for every transaction that you do, it's $6.50 per transaction at the time of this recording to use those ATMs. Those are not free. So the Carnival Cruise Line does have what they call a VIFP, very important fun person very important fun person and it's a loyalty uh, program and it's based on how many cruise days that you travel and the way it works is your very first cruise you are considered a blue that's your very first sailing so zero days uh, your first time on board then you have a red which is your second sailing all the way up through 24 points and the points are based on days so if you have 24 points you have sailed on carnival 24 days then you have gold which is 25 through 74 points. You have platinum, which is 75 through 199 points. And then you have diamond, which is 200 plus, plus points. And for each level, there are certain perks uh, that you can get with this. I am going to put that link in the description below. So if you'd like to, you can take a look at what is available for your loyalty points. This is good on the Carnival Breeze, but this is good on all Carnival ships. But Carnival also has a casino and on the Carnival Breeze you have two. You have a smoking casino and you have a non-smoking casino. This is new. This was added after their refurbishment um, back in 2022, I think it was. It used to be what's called a thrill theater. Now it is a non-smoking casino and in order to play in the casino you have to be 18 years old or older. 
There is also a wonderful spa located on board Carnival Breeze. Now the spa itself is not free. They have many different products and packages that they are able to sell you from facials to massages to hair and nail to going into their thermal spa. Um, go ahead and check that Carnival Hub app or check the website to get more information on the pricing for your spa. Now on the Carnival Breeze, they have what's called formal or elegant night. And depending on how long your cruise is, will be the number of days of your elegant or formal night. For example, if you're doing a five day Caribbean cruise on the Carnival Breeze, you will have one elegant or formal night. If you're doing seven days or longer, you will probably have two or possibly more elegant nights. Now, here's the question, how formal or elegant is formal and elegant night? Well, don't stress over it. And you don't actually have to dress up at all if you don't want to. But this is the perfect opportunity to put on one of your best outfits and go out for your night on the town. Go into the Blush or Sapphire restaurant and have an upscale dinner experience or maybe experience one of those specialty restaurants that are available on board. This is also a great opportunity to get all dressed up and take pictures because there are photographers who walk all over the cruise all days, all nights, and they take pictures of you, but you can also set up a special, gal uh, a special showing at what's called the Pixels Gallery. This is where you can get your pictures and, and you can get this all professionally done. So just think about it. While you're all dressed up, looking your finest and looking your best, you can have a professional photo shoot if you choose. But let's say you don't choose to do that. You don't want to get all fancied up and you absolutely don't have to. It can be as casual or as elegant as you like. Now in the dining room, it is discouraged to come in and what would we call, what we would call beach attire. You know, no swimsuits and flip flops in the main dining room. They really do frown upon that. But you could throw on a pair of shorts or you could have a skirt, um, some khakis. It doesn't have to be that formal. And you can even do that on what's called our formal and elegant nights. So please, no pressure. You can get as formal as you like, but you can still remain completely and comfortably casual. Something I did want to mention, there are specific areas on board Carnival Breeze where you can smoke. The casino is one of those areas where you can smoke. I did mention there is a smoking casino and a non-smoking casino, but you will have to check with that Carnival Hub app or the Carnival personnel to be uh, put in touch with the exact smoking locations on board. But I, may, I don't wanna leave the smokers out. There are designated areas where you can absolutely smoke on board the ship. I wanna talk a little bit more about bringing alcohol and or beverages, drinks on board the cruise ship. And here is the information, I'll go ahead and put it up here. Guests are prohibited from bringing water, sodas, and other non-alcoholic beverages on board if they are packaged in glass or plastic. We can't do that. But on embarkation day, you can bring some non-alcoholic beverages and they have that listed here as sparkling water, sodas, energy drinks, juice, and milk. They have to be packaged in cans or cartons and it can be brought on board, but it does have to be in your carry-on luggage. And it's a maximum of 12 sealed cans or cartons, uh, 12 ounces or 354 milliliters each or less per person. Now you're not allowed to bring alcoholic beverages on board, but there are just a few exceptions. At the beginning of the cruise on embarkation day, that first day on, if you're 21 years old or older, you may bring one 750 milliliter bottle of sealed unopened wine or champagne per person. And once again, it does have to be in your carry on. Now, if you want to drink this wine or your alcoholic beverage that you have brought on inside of the main dining room, they charge you what's called a corkage fee. It says that if you wish to consume your, cha your champagne or your wine in the main dining room or specialty restaurant or bar, or bar a $15 corkage fee per 750 milliliter bottle will be charged. So yeah, beware. The Carnival Breeze is an absolutely fabulous ship. It is a great place for adults and families as well. I think you're gonna have a good time no matter what you're doing on board the Carnival Breeze. I'm sure that I missed a few things. There are some other things that I know that probably should be added to this list of absolute must knows before you board Carnival Breeze. 
Can you think of any? If so, please do me a favor. Just drop those comments down below. I would love to know what else uh, you think is a must know before you board the Carnival Breeze. And our right recipe for travel family would love to know too. So if you have something that you think absolutely must be on this list to know before you board, drop that right down in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in knowing what to pack for your Carnival Cruise, I have two videos that I've done here and here that give you more information about packing for your cruise and also even more information about your carry-on for the cruise. I'll link those in the description below. If you're looking for those cruise essentials, what is it that every cruiser really needs to take with them on board the ship? I will link that down in the description below. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please do give us a thumbs up. Don't forget Right Recipe for Travel family to share the video with anyone that you think this might be helpful for and if you haven't joined the family already what are you waiting for? Smash down on that subscription button. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us today Right Recipe for Travel family and we will catch you at the next adventure.